Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Discovering new ways to work more productively is one of my favorite things to do when using Figma. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to master Figma's properties panel. Let's get started. The first tip we will look at is relative calculation sizes. Already from the properties panel, you can adjust the shape of an object using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Let's say you have two objects with different sizes and you want to add 100 pixels to the width of both objects. What you have to do is select both objects and from the properties panel, select the width and input plus 100, then press enter. As you can see, the size of both objects change relatively, meaning 100 pixels were added to the width of each object. Sometimes when designing, you have two objects in a frame that you want to align in a certain way. To do this, select both objects and hold down the shift key. Navigate to the alignment menu from the properties panel and while you hover over it, you can align both objects as a group. This doesn't convert the objects into a group, but rather moves them like a group. As designers, we know that working with frames is better than working with groups because frames give you more control. But what happens when you stumble on a design where another designer worked with groups? There is a simple solution to that. With just a click, select the grouped object and from the properties panel, select the group drop down menu and select frame. This will change the group into a frame. The resize to fit function is often a useful feature in Figma. This feature enables you to quickly adjust the frame to its minimum dimensions without compromising or distorting the content within the frame. Another useful feature is copying and pasting styles from one object to another quickly. Here I have two buttons and I want to copy the fill color of the first button and apply it to the second button. All I have to do is select the desired style from the properties panel, copy it using Ctrl C, then select the target object which is the second button, and paste it using Ctrl V. Customizing strokes is one of the most important features in design, and Figma lets you do that easily. To simply do this, select the object and add a stroke. Click the stroke per side icon in the properties panel and it will reveal the various stroke options. Selecting all sets a stroke along all sides of the object and top sets the stroke at the top of the object so you get the idea. And you can also select custom and add some personal stroke combinations to your object. Finally, Maintaining a clean and organized workspace is important for efficient design, and Figma is really good in that area. Assuming you have some color styles and want to organize them for easy accessibility, what you can do is, from the properties panel, select all the color styles and press Ctrl J to form a group. Afterward, rename the group to your preferred name and hit enter. Alright guys, we are almost done here but before we go, drop your favorite tip in the comments and if you love this video, hit the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.